CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam Questions 56 through 60 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 56 A network administrator needs to configure a point-to-point -point connection between two routers. Which of the following submit masks is most commonly used for this type of link? The answer is D. 255.255.255.252. Point-to-point connections between routers typically use a forward slash 30 submit mask, which is the equivalent of 255.255.255.252 in dotted decimal notation. This subnet provides exactly two usable IP addresses, making it ideal for direct communication between two network devices. By using a forward slash 30 subnet, administrators minimize wasted IP space while maintaining efficient routing for WAN and private point-to-point -point network links. Question 57. A company is deploying multiple access points and a high-density office space where wireless interference is a concern. Which of the following channel widths would be the best choice to reduce overlap in the 2.4 GHz band? The answer is B. 20 MHz. In the 2.4 GHz spectrum, the 20 MHz channel width is the best option for minimizing interference in high-density environments. While wider channels can provide increased bandwidth in ideal conditions, they also cause greater channel overlap, leading to more interference and degraded network performance. Since the 2.4 GHz band has a limited spectrum, using 20 MHz channels allows for better coexistence with neighboring access points and other wireless devices operating in the same frequency range. Question 58. A network security engineer is deploying an intrusion detection system to monitor network traffic for threats. The appliance is connected to a free port on a switch, and the engineer needs to configure the switch to ensure the device can analyze all traffic. Which of the following is the best option for the engineer to enable? The answer is D. Port mirroring. Port mirroring is used to copy all network traffic from one or more switch ports to another port where a monitoring device, such as an intrusion detection system, can analyze the traffic. This allows security tools to inspect network packets for potential threats without interfering with normal data flow. Now you may be thinking that you have already seen a port mirroring question earlier in this set of Network Plus questions, and if so, you would be correct. For some reason, CompTIA really likes to ask questions about this topic. And it's my job to help you prepare, so I figured why not double up on this type of question and be thorough. Don't worry, you can super thank me later. Question 59. A network administrator is deploying PoE security cameras in an office building. After successfully installing and testing network cabling, the administrator connects the cameras to the PoE switch. However, several cameras fail to power on. Which of the following is the most likely cause? The answer is A. Power budget exceeded. A PoE or power over Ethernet switch has a maximum power budget, which is the total amount of power it can provide across all connected PoE devices. If too many high-power devices, such as security cameras, are connected, the switch may not have enough wattage to power all the devices, causing some cameras to fail. This issue can be resolved by upgrading to a higher-capacity PoE switch, redistributing devices across multiple switches, or using PoE injectors for additional power. Question 60. A network administrator is troubleshooting slow response times when users attempt to access an internal database. The administrator wants to analyze real-time packet captures to determine if network congestion or dropped packets are affecting performance. Which of the following tools would best allow the administrator to inspect traffic at the application layer of the OSI model? The answer is C. TCP dump. TCP dump is a command line packet capture tool that allows administrators to analyze network traffic in real time. It can capture and inspect application layer protocols such as HTTP, DNS, and database queries, making it useful for diagnosing latency and packet loss issues. The tool provides detailed packet-level visibility, allowing administrators to filter traffic by source, destination, port, or protocol. Additionally, TCP dump can save captured data to a file for further offline analysis.
So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.